Welcome to another VAC Minute Monday. What we're going to do today is we are going to show you the process that we use, how we make our billet oil filter housing. For those that don't know, this billet oil, uh, billet oil filter housing has actually been in existence since the very early 2000s. We developed this for a dry sump kit. So this, this is basically the finished product here. This is like a couple versions in. We used to make it as a two piece. Now it's all made as, as a one piece and it has you know, nice gusseting and everything. And what you're seeing here behind it is one that's in process. So we make it use the original gasket and then everything mounts to the original uh, mounting points. So this completely replaces your oil filter housing. And as we explain more, what you do is you get a couple of ports for oil temp, oil pressure, and then these are access holes that we put in. This way you can get this everything OE set up over here. This is used as a dry sump or a wet sump. So if you're using this for a dry sump kit, you're only using the pressure in and the pressure out is blocked off, plugged off. If you're using it for a wet sump setup, then you would use both of these ports. So we're gonna show you in the machine here. We do this on a Grobe G350, previously done on other machines, but this is a, a five axis machine, the Grobe G350. And we have nice fixturing here. This fixturing that's on this job is shunk. We use some different suppliers, but this is shunk fixturing. And the tooling that's being used on this job is a mixture of Kenna metal and Sarah Tizit tooling. What we've done here is made this little cool little pallet and the housing bolts onto that. So when we get the, when we get these units in process, you will basically, they are basically attached using zero point connections. These are shunk zero point connections that drop into here. So it becomes a, a quick change setup for us. But these are made, we call them M50, but they really work. M50, M52, M54, the US S50, S52, the Euros. It's just like basically most of the small sixes that have that style oil filter housing. This is what this fits. So. Um, hope you enjoyed this and uh, you know, keep following VAC. Don't forget to hit that like button.